Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Westeros, Total War, almost said Enhanced Alpha Edition there for a second. <laughs> Winds of Winter Submod, House Targaryen. I can never get that right on like the first nail. Oh well. Anyway guys, uh, when we last left off, the Errands of the Vale have attacked us at Maidenpool. They attacked my smaller army, mainly consisting of Spear Militia and uh, Tristian Rivers here, decided to attack us. He's the Lord Commander of my Gold Cloaks. And he does not like House Frey very much. But nevertheless, we boot, uh, fought him back, uh, killed their main military commander. Pretty much the best commander that the Vale had, really. Uh, Nestor Royce got away, but uh, oh well. The Yorn Royce guy, whatever the hell his name was, he's dead. So we don't have to worry about him anymore. What we do need to worry about is recruiting some more troops, which is what we really need. Because we have enemies on all sides. Uh, when we garrison King's Landing, the Lannisters have decided to fuck off and uh, retreat to their territory. But, well, let's just say the Errands are still here in full force and don't look particularly happy to see us. <laughs> so I'd really feel a lot more comfortable if we had some uh, military presence in there. More so than we already do. Yeah, if we, I will build these guys at Bronzegate and Fellwood as well, but... Really, we have John, John Targaryen over... I almost said John Snow. He's not Snow anymore, damn it. Along with a bunch of other guys and a few misfit guys. We just want to take the arbor, really, and deal with it like that. I'm hoping... Yeah, go look. The Arons are buggering off. Good, good, good. I don't want to go an all-out war with the Arons. That's not my main goal here, really. If anything, I'd like to have peace with him. Oh, good lord, there's people in the background. Oh, good lord, there's three stacks of Lannisters. <laughs> oh, good lord, things are going really my well today. The good lord isn't fucking looking at shit. He's going on his ass in the clouds. Damn you. Damn you. I've just insulted religious people. No That's lord, probably not a good idea. With God's blessing and, yours, and the arbor is ours. Blessed Lord, we thank you for the Um, us. I know that the Arbor's going to be really bitchy, probably. Victory. Although it does give us a considerable amount of cash. Our flowers wasn't particularly the best of, um, no, noble, governors, noble, was he? Noble Get back with John, you douchebag. Yes, White Duckfield. You're I want to keep Pike with us because he's the best commander that we have. An honor to serve. Your order, yes, Lord. Okay, just leave the arbor like that. He doesn't yes, need too much of a garrison. Bless you, Lord. Back on dry land. Onward. Bringing our troops together. Do -do 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 -do. Build as many troops as we can here because these guys are going to be going up to the uh, crown lands again. I'm going to build a diplomat as well. Yes, my we'll send the ships over here to join up with the rest of the Targaryen Orders. fleet. How much cash are we getting? Minus 100. Okay. Yes. Command, my lord. We continue tomorrow. Move out. Now, we don't need all these garrisons in here. We're probably going to go into debt, though, moving these troops out, which I just realized. <laughs> yes, my lord. Command me, your majesty. Onward. Yes, Lord. Join in the fleet. Yes. Back to land, men. Yes. But we need the troops, so I'm going to move them up. Orders. Hopefully with the arbor now ours, we will be able to do some shit, uh, proper fucking damage. There's no point having that diplomat here, we'll move him up. On the mark. Where is here her? What see. kind of... Yeah, see, look, we're untrustworthy. That's why they don't really particularly like us very much. Hello, Your Highness. Am I after a We suspect you will waste our time. You had best Become my vassal, damn you. Yeah, that's never going to work. See, look, ceasefire is very demanding. Unless I have a crap load of cash, they're not going to accept it. And even if they do accept it, like I, they have before, that's how they got the cash in the first place to raise this army that's kicking my ass. Well, not kicking my ass, but it's holding me in one place and forcing me to uh, 
quickly rally my troops. I am actually timing myself this time, so it should be uh, a little bit uh, on the 30 minute mark. More so than last time when it was like uh, so many fucking seconds. See, even removing all those troops out of their little fortifications, we are still. Uh, Command me, Your Majesty. My Lord. We are still yes. very much in the green March. for now. Yes, my lord. Plotting course now, my lord. Probably won't be once we move this army oh. out of uh, Your Majesty. Dragonstone. Which we're gonna group up with these guys. So what we want to do is muster our forces at the Crown Lands and then decide to move on our enemy. But the really annoying thing is, with the whole thing that we've got with Aaron and Lannister on our borders, we're kind of screwed. Because <laughs> if we attack Lannister, then Aaron's going to be have an opening to attack us. Bringing our troops together. And if we attack Aaron, Lannister's gonna have an opening to attack us, and it's not good. It's not good. Three. There you go. There's an entire army that we can have right there. These guys can join up with Bronzegate and Fellwood's army. Move on. So because we share borders with friends, we don't really need to bother at all about keeping these things garrisoned. Because we don't share borders of anyone that's going to attack us, hopefully. All ashore. Your Majesty. Orders. Command me. Yes. Move out. Bringing our troops together, my lord. Yeah, see, look, we're going to go into debt now as well, but uh, it doesn't really matter too much because we're going to move our forces anyway, so. Noble Lord, of course, my Lord. Don't bother with that. Orders. March. We march. We'll move John's troop up and he can uh, slowly and steadily build his troops to the point where I feel acceptably safe leaving the... Uh, Comfort of Old Town and the surrounding area. Yes. Joining there you go. That's my fleet. Uh, perfectly well preserved there. We're going to keep Aegon inside Old Town because it's nice and safe for him. We don't want the fate of the Targaryen line to rest in the hands of just two generals. It's going to take a while for his kids to come of age, so... Your orders, noble one. Yes. Orders. Move out. And okay, we may as well get rid of these spear yes. militia and some of yes. these crappy, more dented Order. units. Your yes. Command me. Bring me noble lord. Yes. Command They're going to be joined by the forces from over here anyway, yes, so it's not too orders. big of a deal, really. Yes, my lord. Now, these guys, I think, share borders with... Or do they? Because, yeah, I think Tumble, uh, Tumbleton here shares borders with fucking Lannister. So, we don't want to leave that undefended. King's Landing, we want defended at all times. <laughs> no question there, really. Your orders? Your Majesty. March! Noble Lord. Yes, Lord. Okay, raises the question, how many people can we leave Duskendale before it starts being bitchy? I'm thinking not many, yeah. We're already in debt, so what does it matter if we go further into debt? It doesn't, really. We'll leave five troops in there. We march. Make camp, men. We rest I'm thinking because I just, I just like the muds to actually see some action. <laughs> We march with honor. Hey, River's actually not that bad of a uh, commander. Hmm. 
command me. Who'd have thought? Noble orders. An One, two, three, four, and five. So if we get rid of this shobby crossbow human, it's not really doing anything. Okay, there's two full Targaryen units there. We'll leave John Cunnington in command of that city. He's kind of become shit since he's got... Well, not shit, but he's uh, a lot worse than usual. Besides, he's a good administrator. I don't want him out of that city, to be honest. He can stay nice and safe in there. Yes, my lord. I keep forgetting who's yeah, diplomat to who's because... An honor. Yeah, see, look, I do share balls with Lannisters. Fuck me. One, two, three, four giant stacks of Lannisters, and there's three and, let's say, four and a half-ish stacks of... You count those as three, and that one I is pretty much almost a full engagement. stack. And then if you put half of those... So, yeah, that, almost about four and a half stacks of Aaron forces on the borders there. Not we can Lord. take them, kind of, maybe, probably not. Yes, Lord. <laughs> we march. Noble Lord. Keep the Mud Brothers together. Honor. Yes, my Lord. We will not surrender these waters easily. Yes, my Lord. Your orders? Yes, my Lord. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to send that ship up there and, uh... We'll make use of this ship as well. Send it up to Lannisport and siege the crap out of them. My lord, they're engaging us. Ooh, you killed my ships. Damn it. I was going to go siege Goldtown to block off some of their uh, income. Even though they're already fucking, like, in debt. Mildly in debt. Yes, lord. Noble lord. Okay, we've got a diplomat here. We do have military access for the Martells, don't we? Yes, we do. Yes, my lord. The Martells have really come out on the top in all of this, haven't yes, they? They've become pretty much the most powerful fucking house that there is. Actually, it just reminded me, the Greyjoys, yeah, the Greyjoys control the Shield Islands, so if we move John over there and take them, that'll give us a bit of income as well. Afterwards, we'll pester the Westerlands. Noble Lord, your orders, Noble One. Of course, my lord. Noble Lord. Yes. Of course, my lord. We march. We don't have the cash for a fort. <laughs> Great. Yes. I think the best target here is Harrenhal and taking out House Eren. The Lannisters, while powerful, uh, seem completely content with just staying away from me from now. Hopefully they will remain that way for future generations. Okay, we may as well move those guys out of Storm's End, join them up with them. March, command me, my lord. We march no further today, lord. So another large army that we can count on to join us. Uh, I wonder if I can get a ceasefire with Lannister. I shall approach this. We shall listen to your proposal, but do not expect much. No. Huh. Never. Do you think it's me? I always hate how absolutely nobody is willing to trade with me. I am perfect. I, all I want is peace. I have nothing against you people. There is another army there uh, of Lannisters uh, under the command of Lancel, <laughs> who is supposed to be in the Warriors' Sons. Lenny? Or something like that. Anyway, next turn. The Martells should be keeping the Lannisters busy now that they've uh, wiped out the Tyrells. In theory. We're about to find out anyway when John gets on this ship and goes to the Shield Islands. We shall find out what the situation is. Yes. I do not like not knowing what the Arons are doing. Yeah, see. I don't know why, but they are all flocking to this place. Probably because it's their main point that's sharing borders with everyone. Your orders, Noble One. Something that's hit me though. We're probably much better off taking a ship, going around the Westerlands, and attacking the Vale from in the inside. Before their armies can even do anything about it. Yes. Although whether or not we'd actually get to the Vale before our ships were completely and utterly destroyed is another question. But we'll get some commanders to join these, uh, lead these armies first before we think about that. Noble Lord. Well, actually, if we could get a ship from Maidenpool, we could just flop around there. 
Uh, they destroyed my ship that went around there, didn't they? Yeah, completely destroyed it. Nope. Yes. Yep, completely destroyed it. Damn. Your it's really weird going from recording the hot seat of like recording one turn at a time to recording a bunch of turns. It's like kind of weird. <laughs> Hello, Robert Targaryen. Why in God's name would Aegon name his child after the man that killed his father? Okay. <laughs> well, at least he's got four sons. <laughs> Be gone! Your orders? Leading the men ashore. Noble lord, God will be with us, men! To battle! I, I doubt we'll be attacking that and the, uh... Noble lord. We will engage probably, them but... Honorably, my lord. Without question. Yes, my lord. Maybe, who knows. <laughs> I'd rather just build the ladders just in case. If we happen to need them, then we'll need them. Yes! Onward! Command me! My lord! We march no further today, Lord. Yes, Lord. I like my plan of attacking them, like going around and attacking them, but unfortunately I need a ship for that, preferably Nothing one that's going now, to be able to survive. <laughs> continue tomorrow, my Lord. But if I get my troops on land up there, You're and then wait for a ship. One. I don't want to move yet, because... <laughs> We need some forces to actually uh, make it the illusion of uh, defensive forces. And by illusion, I mean defensive forces. Yes. Lannisters seem content with just staying away from my forces because uh, the Antlers and King's Landing is secure. We'll put some troops in Antlers with him. And these guys will uh, garrison Maidenpool properly. Let's not forget John at the Shield Islands. Noble Lord, God will be with us, men. To battle! God. <laughs> Blessed Lord, we thank you for delivering us. God be praised for blessing us with victory. We will engage them honorably, my Lord. God has granted his faithful this victory. An honor to serve. Did I just send back now? I thought I sent the smallest fucking God troop possible us, over there for a second. Onward. Bringing our boots together. I just thought for myself for a second, hey, we found something that flowers can actually govern. My god. <laughs> yes, my lord. But now, once we get rid of the rest of these ironborn that are in there, that will give us a little bit of extra income. Not enough to do much with, but <laughs> still a bit of extra income. Yes. Full sails. Oh, bollocks. Okay, so much my plan for that. The enemy lays it. What shall we do? Orders. Okay, my original plan stands of uh, garrisoning antlers just to keep the Lannisters at bay. Yes. Command me. March orders. Command. But now I have a new plan of sending some of these troops down this way. <laughs> Move out orders. Onward. Yes. Orders. Your Majesty. Keep those guys in maiden pool. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Hopefully hiding from them. Now, if we can survive a few turns... Noble lord. Okay, if we move over here... Yes. I'm, I'm, I bet you 20 quid that the errands are going to attack us the second I move the next turn. We march. Yes, lord. With God's blessing and yours... Ah! Most Clear victory against the Greyjoys. My noble lord. Ooh, no, they don't like me very much. These lands are yours, my lord. Your orders, noble one. Yes. Your what the Greyjoy is going to do? Send their ships to me. Orders. Please don't do that. <laughs> the last thing I need is a giant siege. Command me. Yes. Your 
Hey, okay, just grouped together all of our cavalry, which is relatively weakened. Because my troops are incompetent. Your Majesty. Yes, Lord. Yes. Command me. No, I was going to leave the weakest units there, and then it just clicked off the map. Command me. An honor to serve. Okay, we'll leave those knights in Grey Shield as well. It's plus 90%, it'll be fine. Your orders, noble one. Your orders? Full sails. Yes, my lord. Yes. Yeah, we probably can't do much to the Lannisters. I'm Your thinking orders. we, uh... I don't know, what should we do? Yes, my lord. Is it worth sending John North and attacking Bear Keep and uh, taking Deep Oak Mode? <laughs> Just for the hell of it. Just because I could, really. That's the only reason I'd think of doing that. Yes. Okay, next turn, and here's where House Aaron shows up out of nowhere and attacks me. Oop. Uh, do we have ten minutes to fight this? I think we'll be fine. If not, it will be a bit longer than usual. <laughs> Oh, the beauties of having a timer on my phone, huh? Such technology we live in today. Why would we live in technology, Sol? I have no idea. <sighs> so you've either, you've either got me recording at night, in which case you find me auto-resolving and being really lazy. Or you've got me recording in the morning, where I'm awake, but not quite awake. <laughs> Now see, these guys are skinned. Because <laughs> they're captains and not actual fucking units. Okay, what kind of equipment are we looking at? One siege ladder, two battering rams for some reason, and a siege tower. The siege tower is obviously going to attack there. The ladder can only go on these walls, and the gate is going to be our main concern. So, we garrison the front desk, if you will. Placing most of our best troops on the front line, kind of thing. Oh, you guys have seen me do this before. Come on. And here's a really entertaining... I really hope they fix this kind of crap in Rome 2. You don't have the same fucking problem. Your unit's refusing to go where they're fucking well supposed to go. <laughs> Well, actually, uh, it's probably better if I just stick the fucking spear militia down there, isn't it? As well, because they're going to be really early shit. Okay, if we group all of those guys together, then we can place this guy on the walls up here. This guy on the walls. This guy on the walls as well. This guy's on the wall. I don't want you on the wall, what are you doing? You can just come down here and shoot arrows at people. Yeah, just go down there so that I can actually get you into the position that I want because the game is utterly retarded. Come on! Come on, let's do this. No, I just want you literally to go right there. Right there, so that I can move you on top of the walls when I want to. Thank you. Thank God for that. Okay, that unit's doing what it's supposed to be doing. That's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Okay, that guy's on the wall. This guy's on the wall as well. No, I want to kind of, yeah, select them all, goddammit. So I can put them into a group like that. The archers should theoretically be down there somewhere. <laughs> Whatever, those guys can be fine there, those guys can be fine there. I do not want them...
I really would like them facing the right way, though, to be perfectly honest. There you go. So when they break through, that's it. Okay, let's get these guys on top of the wall now, shall we? Like you were supposed to do in the first place, but you were too incompetent to do at the fucking beginning of the game. And by the looks of it, you're still in too incompetent to do. No, no, now they're moving. Honestly, seriously. Fix the AI. <laughs> For the love of God, fix the AI. <laughs> it's horrible. I can't really complain too much. I mean, medieval is, like, considerably old. <laughs> it's not one of the uh, brand new fucking Total War games. Why are you guys still registering as running? Shoot the enemy. That is what you're supposed to be doing. That is your only job. Repel the attackers. Give them steel. Okay, as long as everything goes according to plan, which it never does, save, everything save should us. be perfectly fine. We've done 4% damage to the forward battering forward ram, oh my god. Our walls with their siege tower. We must repel the invaders. What in God's name are Stannis' units doing? <clears throat> they got halfway up the ladder, and then they routed. <sighs> it's not even Stannis' units, why did I say Stannis? It's because we're fighting Stannis in the... Uh, Actually, decent units as well. Routed the second they got on the fucking thing. Oh, well done. Okay, as long as we hold the gate, we'll be perfectly fine. In fury. Well, we may as well send that back line of these guys down there to uh, attack the enemy. Considering they're too stupid to uh, use the bridge, the, the uh, ladders that was basically given to them. We're holding the walls, holding the walls. Okay, trying to make these guys sort of set up some kind of defensive formation here. Make him use fire arrows just to uh, increase the level of fear. Why are they doing this, actually? Can we actually make some decent use of these cavalry and send them around the back? Yes, I believe we can. Hopefully it won't cause all my men to rout because they're idiots and incompetent little shits. But we can send our cavalry around the back and uh, go around the back of the gates, flank them around and attack them in the uh, kill box. Then that's victory. Although for some reason my troops are taking a long way around. Huh? I'll pretty much send my cavalry around here and attack them in the rear. Come on, lads, get out the front. We don't have all fucking day. Well, we do, but... Well, technically we don't.
Okay, keep those guys there, just keep them busy. I had a distinctly bad feeling that this would God happen. Save us. My the troops are routing. Walls. Look to our defense, or all will be lost. Do not rout while there is still hope, you useless fucks. Seriously, this is why I've always wanted a script in these kind of games. It allows you to punish your troops severely for routing in the middle of a battle. Like, if certain units rout, and then you win, you should have the option to say, Oh, you captured some deserters. Break their kneecaps with hammers and they will not fucking rout again, kind of thing. If your men know what happens if you retreat from the battlefield, they won't bloody well do it again, but nope. If you lads just, like, hold on for two fucking seconds, my cavalry will show up and just literally annihilate them. Huh? If you rout, we're not going to get anywhere, are we? What are you idiots doing? Get the fuck over here. Huh? Okay, let's see who's shaken when this happens, you little shits. Any time now, there they are. Yeah, weren't expecting that, were you, Lannisters? Hopefully, we should win now. I don't see why not unless my men stupidly rout again. <laughs> Let's give these idiots a bit of a helping hand, shall we? Get through the gate and push them. Where are you going? The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost half their men. Okay, let's not be in retard formation and actually get the fuck in there, shall we? Okay, massive Lannister slaughter in the middle here, but we have achieved victory, I believe. Unless my captain dies, in which case my entire army will probably rout because they're a bunch of idiots. Where the hell are those guys going? Lord above and there goes their captain, I believe. Captured the enemy's general. That will teach the cowardly dog to run. Now he can rest at our leisure. Okay, time six, and we just sort of win. It's literally just kill the rest of them in the middle there. 
Should have done the flanking remover at the beginning of the thing, really. What I should have done is deployed the fucking cavalry at the other side of the gates. Now, see, after this game, I want an option to simply break the fucking deserters' legs. Praise the Almighty! This is a clear, clear victory. victory that goes to all Not really. I wouldn't consider that a clear victory. I'd consider it a near fuck up because the incompetence of my troops. <laughs> you were already you were you were planning to run before my cavalry showed up. And they're gonna siege it again. And there's a giant army of Lannisters outside of King's Landing. Is not good, Lord. The enemy have laid siege upon us. An honor to serve, noble Lord. Your orders, noble one. Okay. Um. Yeah, we're pretty fucking screwed, aren't we? Really. What the hell are the Martells doing? My Lord. I was hoping that the Martells would be like keeping them busy by now, but apparently yes, not. My Lord. I think what we'll do is just, I don't know. It's probably faster if we just drop John off yes, in the yes, reach Lord. and then he can go Open across. The yes. And we'll send the fleet that we have to go siege Lannisport and just cut off their trade routes, really. That army might be able to hold off against them, maybe. <laughs> probably not because they don't have a general. But anyway, guys, we are way over the 30-minute mark due to that little battle that took fucking ages. When we come back, we'll probably move John Mudd across into the Vale and take Gold Town, wipe out the Aaron's supply of income. Actually, we'll probably send both of the Mudd brothers into the Vale while uh, the main force is over here. And uh, focus on trying to hold back Lannisters until we're done with House Aaron as well, so yeah. Anyway, guys, that's all for now. Annotation top right-hand side. I will see you there. Soul out.